Hey there everyone, welcome to a Minecraft tutorial here on the channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build this duplication machine right here. So technically this is an automatic string duplication machine in Minecraft and that is some of the best machines you can make in the game. All you need to do is construct it, turn it on and then once you've turned it on you can then just duplicate string forever and then you can turn it off again when you don't need it anymore. So I'm gonna show you how to make this, but in order to actually prime this, all you need to do with this machine is use the shears on the tripwire and then unpower the lever. And if you do that in quick succession, like quickly one after the other, you can see that the tripwire then duplicates into string. And we have a bunch of hoppers right here that's going to be collecting all of the loot. So let me show you how to build this so that you can get this in your world. Now, first off, it's actually really important which direction you build the machine in the first place. So what you need to make sure of is that the, the mouth of the machine is facing the south direction in the game, okay? Now, what that actually means is that if you imagine that the tripwire is uh, right here, so let me just place where the tripwire kind of is in the machine. Um, you need to make sure that it is facing in a certain direction. So you need to kind of make sure that the water is flowing in a particular direction is the best way to put it. Now to figure out which, the, which way south is in your game, what you need to do, well one way I do it in the game is, uh, if you look at the clouds in the game, they are actually going to be flowing in the west direction so they should be they should be moving to the west so that way is west this way is east and then by definition south is off this way so that's one way of figuring out which way south is in the game using the clouds okay and what you then need to do is you need to set up the storage facilities right here so here are four double chests in the ground and we're going to attach some hoppers on the back so that those direct items into the double chest like so and then you need to do something like this okay you need to do this sort of framework for the machine okay so something like that you then need to get your glass and then put the glass over the top of the chest like this. It needs to be glass, otherwise you won't be able to open the chest underneath like so. Now, you need to place some trap doors right here, but you cannot do it this way. You need to make sure that um, you can't place it here because that's the wrong direction. You need to place it like so. So you need to place it in the other direction like this, okay? And once you've actually placed those, make sure they are open like so, like that, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is you want to get some water and place two water source blocks behind this set of trap doors. You then need to get your tripwire hooks and place them here, like so. And then you can then place some string uh, so that they are connected, okay, like that. Now, once they are connected, above the trap door, you need to place a block with a lever on it, like so. And we have almost primed the machine. Once you've done this, activate this lever once so that it's in the on position. And that is the machine primed. Now, once you've actually done all of these steps and actually primed the machine with the lever, all you need to do is use the shears on the tripwire right here and then unpower the lever, so like so. Now it needs to be done in quick succession for it to actually work, and as you can see, the duplication is now occurring. Uh, all we then need to do after that is uh, turn off, to turn off the machine is to power this uh, lever again. Now, sometimes what might happen is the string might break. Um, if the string breaks, do not worry. All you need to do is make sure that the string is uh, connected again, like so, and then you can start the duplication off again. So if the string ever breaks when you turn off the machine or whilst you're using it, it shouldn't happen whilst you're duplicating, but it might happen when you turn the machine off. 
just restore the string and make sure the lever is in the on position and then just initiate the machine again like I showed you a moment ago. So all you need is shears and then unpower the lever to start the duplication off again. All right, everyone, that's about it for this tutorial. This is available in Minecraft Java Edition, and I think this is still usable in Minecraft 1.19 and Minecraft 1.20 as of this video. And yeah, it's a pretty common design, and I thought I'd share it with you because it's a very nice nifty design. And obviously, you can have loads of these or make them longer. This is just a very simple unit that I've created in the for you know for this tutorial to keep it simple. But if you did find this video useful, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified of any future videos on the channel. And be sure to follow my Twitter, which is on screen or in the description. And yeah, have fun duplicating loads of string. It's a very useful machine. And thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you have a nice day. Stay happy and healthy as always. And I'll see you in the next video.